Welcome to the Unsold Life YouTube channel, video one. We are super pumped to have you guys here. This is going to be the place where you guys get all of the updates of how we are bringing our family of five on the journey of a lifetime. We're packing everything we own, selling most of it. Everything. And heading out. Long story short, right now, I'm headed to Costa Rica. And we'll tell you how it came about and why Costa Rica. A little bit in this video and a little bit more in videos to come. How did we decide that we were just gonna sell everything we own and completely change the course of our lives? That's a good question. <laughs> Do you have the answer? There's really not a, a simple answer to it. It's probably something that's been ongoing for a long time, many years of not being fulfilled in both of our lives with family and work. Yeah. I would say. I agree. Um, finally just got to a point where something needed to happen. Something needed to change. Because we, I, I think I speak for both of us when I say that we aren't meant to be here on this earth just to go to a nine to five and then die. Pay there's, bills and die. <laughs> there's much more to life than, than that and seeing your kids here and there when you're not tired after you get them from work. That was a big like deciding factor, right? It was the, um, well, I'm sure everybody can relate or, or maybe majority of people watching this video can relate. You are so busy every single day. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. <laughs> like work busy, extracurricular busy, school busy, um, mom life busy, animals busy, all of the things. Busy, busy, busy but there was never any time to just spend quality time with, with our family, with each other or with our kids. Or any of the family. Or any like of the extended family either. <laughs> anywhere, it's, you go for a birthday or you go for Christmas and you're there for four or five hours in the day and you don't see them for a month or whatever. It's And you're rushed the you whole know? time that you're there. Yeah. I think a lot of that was subconscious too. Like you're just rolling through life because this is how it is and this is the way it's always been done. So you just roll into life as we did in our early 20s when we got together and we got married and decided we were going to have kids and then you have the house and you have the mortgage and you just roll into it. And you, you, you don't even realize that it's happening. You don't even realize that you're rolling in slowly but surely into this box and kind of into this prison of um, busy, and do and pay bills and needing to attain more and more and more and we just we just reached a point where we were yeah. done with it half and the time it's just stuff that doesn't even mean anything to you and doesn't add anything to your life there's no value in it it's just things that you do yeah because that's what you do or that's what you've been taught to do or that's what you learn to do it's what everybody else does exactly <laughs> it's like when you actually when i actually step back and thought of life and you know like what are you actually doing like none of this makes sense like i don't know it just doesn't i don't know how to explain it it's <laughs> i think it'll come out more because we're all we're still just getting used to adjusting through all of this so today as we record this video we are five days out from the closing of this house and that in itself, from the day that we made the decision to sell the house and to embark on this mission to today has been three months in the making. Um, we would have liked it to uh, move a little bit faster, but <laughs> life had different plans. And we wanna bring you through that story really quick so that maybe you guys can envision yourselves um, doing something like this. It'll never look the same, but maybe you're feeling that urge that life needs to look a little bit different to, for you guys and for you for your family as well. I mean, if you want something bad enough, you'll do whatever it takes to do it. I, you'll find a way. Kind of like a where where there is a will, there is a way, and not in like that. Cheat, like you say that, and I feel like people say that or people hear that, and they're like, oh well, yeah, that's easy for you to say. It's really not. If you look at any of the people that have done anything substantial, any of the people that you might look up to, they all started not knowing how they would figure out what they were going to do. Yeah. They just knew that they had to do it, that they wanted to do it, and they started moving towards it, and that's what we chose to do. 
Yeah, and nothing ever works out perfectly. You can set a plan for everything that you have to do, and I guarantee you it'll never work out the way you planned it to work out. It <laughs> That's it. It just doesn't happen that way. That's a really good way but to you lead need into to start our somewhere. story. You I have, think you have to have a plan to start somewhere and start there. Should we tell like the story of the conversation in the kitchen then, right now? Like where this journey kind of began? Yeah. So this entire shenanigan started with a conversation in the kitchen one night. Rob had gotten home from his long day of work. I had, like, I was at the end of my long day homeschooling the kids and. Probably all, on like what, like your sixth coffee of the day, probably well, just probably to keep yourself quite going. literally. Like I was <laughs> brewing coffee as we had this conversation. Um, we, I looked at Rob and I said, I said, why don't we sell everything we own and just buy a truck and trailer and take the kids across Canada for a year? And I was, at first, I was kind of like crazy lady. As usual, <laughs> I'm usually the crazy one, and he's usually Which, the voice of reason. It's something I've always wanted to do. Don't get me wrong, but the the idea of that, just at that second of time, I was like, with three young kids working our butts off to pay our mortgage and pay our bills, we don't have like loads of money hiding in a bank account anywhere. So I think even when I said it, I was half serious, <laughs> but. Then when we actually stopped to think about it, and I think as we went on that evening, we both kind of had it tickling around in the back of our heads and we were thinking like, oh yeah, that would be cool. And oh yeah, how much is our house worth right now? And oh, mm. Yeah. Right? I mean, I was looking at trailers that night. <laughs> he might've been looking at trailers that night. That, that might've really happened. And then I think when I saw him looking at trailers, I was like, oh my goodness. He, he is actually considering this because I I really didn't expect that to happen. So then we start looking at trailers and we start realizing like, you know, something like this might actually be possible. We actually might be able to, to do something like this, especially if we were to sell our home, which everybody does these things a little bit differently. Some people choose to rent their house out while they're gone, vice versa. We'll go into that in another video. But what we were going to do or what our plan was and still is, is selling this house and using that money to do the things that we want to do. Which at first was buy a truck and trailer and take our kids across Canada for a year. See every province, spend about a month in every single province, really, really, really pushing to get to BC for the winter time to the warmest part of, of Canada was like our goal. We were like, okay, over in this, like we formulated that probably over like the next week, looking at things like figuring out Remember, mind you, this was end of September, beginning of October. Yeah. So we thought kind we had of a lots short time, of time frame. We thought we had like enough time though. <laughs> yeah, like we're like, first... oh yeah, we'll just just sell the house and it'll all work out great. You know, it'll, oh, that, it shouldn't take more than you know a month right. to sell the house, and right. and we'll just go get a truck and trailer, and we'll be on our merry way. Yeah. But wrong. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen. So wrong. We are so <laughs> wrong. The first time we sold a house, in our defense, it took like one day. Yeah. Three days, one True. day. This time it took a few months and the closer we got to winter, the closer we got to what our, we thought was our dreams being, our shattered. Dreams being shattered on the floor. <laughs> we were like, every week would go by and we'd be like, well, I guess if it doesn't sell by this Saturday, then we should take it off the market. But then like the Saturday would pass and we'd just be like, well, I mean like how, how late can we leave Ontario to get yeah. to? BC and be safe, right? Because if you're not from Canada, driving from Ontario to BC past a certain point in the fall slash winter is very, very dangerous. Snowstorms, mountains, nasty yeah. roads. Like it's, it would not be our idea and our vision of um, a nice, calm, lovely time with your family. It more <laughs> like would have been white knuckle driving and a lot of frustration and anxiety, really. Again, we thought that it was going to take like a few days, a couple of weeks, maybe max, from the beginning to the end to sell our house. But what ended up happening was it took two weeks to get an offer. We accepted it. And then it took two weeks from that day for them to tell us that their financing fell through and our hearts broke and shattered again. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. there was a whole other week just gone because we were waiting for all those conditions to be met. And that was a whole week of not selling the house or doing anything. Of like technically taking it off the market because yeah. we stopped taking viewings and everything.
So then we flop back over and we're like, okay, so again, we're back on the market. Nothing and nothing and nothing. No viewings, <laughs> no offers, even when, yeah, even when people did come through, no offers. And yeah, uh, I'd be lying if I said we didn't get a teensy bit discouraged mm -hmm. until. 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 You decided to bust your ass and do some things around the house to make it a little bit more um, presentable. I did that. While I was still at work in my lovely, lovely job that I love so much. I mean, it's hard. I think that's <laughs> like a perfect time to touch on the fact that you're expected to run this, this house and keep your house up to date. And I see people's houses run down all the time. And I think I used to have this like conception, preconceived conception that like they just didn't care about their house. Well, no, actually it's nearly impossible when one of us or both of you, there's plenty of households that have both adults working full time yeah. and still then caring for your kids. And then you're supposed to like care about the paint on your walls and like the out, the exterior of your home it's looking presentable. Hard. It's pretty hard when you have three little tornadoes running around in your house all day long. It is literally unattainable. <laughs> like we are striving for something that is unattainable unless Anybody you have that has money. Kids, will they'll uh, attest to that yes yes agree <laughs> so then one day well not one day it was a series of three days actually all like boom 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 we got three bookings booked uh th three viewings excuse me booked Viewing number one, we get an offer, but it's not ideal. It's a late closing day and they lowballed the offer and we were thinking, okay, well, if they can change their date, then we'll accept the money. Cause we didn't really want to, like, we didn't really care as much about the money as we did about the closing date. So then we accepted and then we had an offer, full asking price offer, which we did not actually, that's not what we based any of our numbers on. We based all of our numbers on like, can we do the truck and trailer and, and travel for a year? We based that all on, yeah. $20,000 less than what we ended up getting, okay? So keep that in mind when you uh, uh, follow us into the next part of the journey here. <laughs> um, so then our closing date is November 26th and that's too late. By the time you close and then we found a truck and found a trailer and moved all our stuff in and got set up and learned the rig and then set out to BC, it was too late. We'd be driving through the the winter. It would be horrible. Parts of those, the- You can't um, even use the trailer while you're traveling in those conditions because no. everything's just frozen, so. And parts <laughs> of those provinces are already getting snow. The provinces that we have to pass through are already getting crazy amounts of snow. Then we were like, great. Now we have to <laughs> rent here in yeah, Ontario. Where we don't want to be. Where we don't want to be. <laughs> where rent is three times what we paid our mortgage and we would still have to endure winter, which was pretty much what we were trying to avoid. I mean, amongst so many other things, but we were trying to avoid our un Southwestern Ontario winters. Yes. So, the nastiness of the cold. Yes. <laughs> so then I put my thinking cap on and I started thinking to myself, can we go south? Like, are people actually allowed right now to get on a plane and go south? Like, what's an Airbnb in the Bahamas or Costa Rica or something like that? Like, can, can we actually do that? And again, I presented this idea to Rob. And what was, <laughs> what was your first thought when I said, hey, let's go south for the winter? Probably, yeah, okay. How's that gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> but keep in mind, we just sold our house for $20,000 more than we actually thought we were going to as well. So not that that was free money because we do need to be frugal and smart with our funds. But at the same time, it did open up a little bit more of a door of opportunity for us to yeah. say, what, can, what, what are the possibilities? What are the options for the winter? So we looked into it and we looked into it. It's cheaper to rent down there than it is here. That's for sure. Yep. It sure is. And it's warm and it's tropical and there's a yeah. beach. Everything that we want. And there's fresh <laughs> bananas and sloths. And monkeys. And monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided, okay, we're going to Costa Rica. And we started looking into flights and we started looking at like Airbnbs and all of that. And we got it all booked. And now we are very happy to say that December 6th, 
we are flying out to Costa Rica and we're staying there for three months, give or take, depending. There will be future videos talking more about why Costa Rica, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and answering all of those questions. This video was dedicated to how did this happen? Information. Information <laughs> on how we made the decision. And this video was also dedicated to- Cause I'm sure to... there are um, a few people out there going, my goodness, those two people are crazy to take their three small children on a plane. There's a <laughs> lot of people thinking that, yes. But- We did our research. We might be crazy, who knows? But maybe crazy <laughs> is just brave. It is. And people just call it crazy. Maybe I don't want to be not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this, vi this video was dedicated to showing each and every one of you that anything is possible. And again, I really want to drive home that just because you don't see the how right now doesn't mean that it's never going to happen for you. Keep dreaming big, keep shooting for the stars, and don't let anybody else ever tell you that you can't nope. because you can. And it's not easy to do that, but once you figure out how to do that, then there's no stopping. If you want to follow us on this crazy journey, please hit the subscribe button. Give us a like. We're new to this. It's going to be fun. Give it a share. Come on down to Costa Rica with us. Yeah, come on down. We'll uh, hook you up with some bananas. Yes, and sloths. Yeah. <laughs>